are so moody? Why is everyone in this game so damn moody? Are you not getting laid? Is that why you're so moody? Get yourself some dick or V or something. Chill the fuck out. What's up, guys? This is Mike from Rage Spring Gaming, and we got a date with Professor Miss Rahi on Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 3. Also, Spock, Saladusha. Yeah! But in any case, if you recall. Ah! Oh shit, sorry. Oh no, all the drugs I brought are. Drugs? What do you think you're doing? Uh, sorry, damn. Huh. Soon as she said drugs, my mind went somewhere else. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just the way she said it. It just it made no sense. Oh man. But in any case, viewers, I figured out um where, where those prayer beads are. Special items. Combine it with the VB Crimson to create VB Dawn. I don't know what the fuck that means. I, it I I believe it has something to do with Jen. So, he, ah! there you go. But yeah, you definitely do want to get the prayer beads. My memory is very hazy with those prayer beads, but I know you want to get that. Very important for Jen later. Phew! And we get this ether pack in, which is also important. If you spam the fuck out of ether shit. So, there you go. Alright, I think that was it. Is this open? Ah, cool, it is. Alright, and the fire exit is um sealed, so we can't go there. Oh well, before we head in though, um, since I got those extra skill points, um, let's see here. Shion. Hmm. Where do I want you to even go, girl? Honestly. Well, I do kind of want to go have her go down this end. But I do definitely want her to get some new skills. Those slow edge should last her for a while, don't you think, viewers? That being said, though, let me go and get her some more um, A3 skills then. Get some more ether. There you go. EP. That is. Alright, in any case, we gotta head to the fourth floor to meet with Professor Miss Rocky. As you recall, Shion, um stole somebody's, um, you know, identity last time. So, there you go. That being said, though, for floor, I mean, literally identity theft, and Shion didn't give a shit. But like I said last time, you do this. Central management. Oh, I kind of didn't need to have a voiceover for that, but thanks. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I guarantee you, you do that shit in real life, you your ass is going to jail. Go directly to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect that ID. Because you're not going to get it in jail. So, yeah. I could have said something cooler, but that's pretty much all I came up with. I am so sorry. I'll work on it, and I'll get back to you. What's this? Data? Oh! Suo Uzuki's memo? The fuck? Hmm, okay. But yeah, that's where you're supposed to learn the password to get to where those prayer beads are. But luckily, you have me, so you don't need the password. Unless you, unless you just completely um, muted me at that point, which I don't know why. In any case, shh. Espionage time. Oh. You two, what are you standing around for? Uh, this is Joachim Misrahi? Wow. Upload the test subject's personal patterns to Central. What? Yo, Joachim Misrahi? D uh, 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 damn! <laughs> Didn't you hear me? I told you to upload the test subject's personal patterns. Why are you so moody? Why is everyone in this game so damn moody? Are you not getting laid? Is that why you're so moody? Get yourself some dick or V or something. Chill the fuck out. Oh, yes, sir. Let's see. The test subject's personal data. Shit. I mean, I know if I'm feeling moody, you know, suck, suck. In any case. Hurry. Okay. Chill the fuck out. Yes, sir. 
Currently cleared through, list 177, list 281. 15 left until upload is complete. <laughs> she got her ass in gear. Were you just assigned here? <laughs> Are you noobs? Y yes, sir. I see. I'd heard I was getting new assistants. How's list 281? Yes, sir. List 281. This is a list of patients in the hospital. Is it done yet? Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, list 281, clear. Upload complete. God, I don't know what his problem is. Maybe Yuli isn't sucking him off enough. Hmm. Um, what are these test subjects? This is the data from test subjects capable of linking with vessels of anima. Vessels? Oh. We're going to control their fear and perform a Zohar connection experiment. Control their fear? Weren't you informed? No. I'm sorry. Hmm. Chief, look! Vessels of anima! Yes. Why here? Beats me. I have no idea. And what does he mean by linking people to vessels of anima? Look at this. It's the Zohar. You're right. Looking at this, it appears the vessels of Anima serve as a mediator to approach the Zohar. Ah, I see. I remember in the first game that whoever tried to touch the Zohar got, like, disintegrated, or they just literally disappeared and shit. So by having people linking with vessels of Anima, they can, um, it can serve as a way to approach the damn thing without being, you know, obliterated or some shit. I thought they were the power reactors for the ESs. Actually, they're transmitters. No, more like translators. Their power is the byproduct of acting as mediators between people and the Zohar. So that's the true purpose of the ES, um, the, the Vessel of Anima. That's been in our ESs this whole time. We didn't even really know what they were for. They were calibrated here, and what we were using was the finished product. Ah, okay, that makes sense. But this data, I wonder why they needed to relay it through realians. That's interesting. The answers to all these questions might just be here in Labyrinthos. He said something about controlling fear. Maybe that's related. Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. I can only speculate. Chief, look. Huh? <gasps> Mom's name. What? Why is she on the list of test subjects? She was a test subject for... Oh, shit. You there. Uh Yes, sir. Go fetch my assistant, Kevin Winnicott. I want to know for Bronia's condition. Ke Wait a minute. Kevin is his assistant? Kevin Winnicott? Does he mean our Kevin? What's the matter? Hurry up. Uh, uh sure. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Kevin worked here. Unbelievable. Hurry up and fetch Winnicott. Kevin Winnicott's room is next door. Now go and get him. Hmm? Is your is this your first time meeting Mr. Winnicott? He's a little strange, so it may be difficult to deal with him. Wow. So yeah, we already know, um, what the Kevin in this era look like, obviously. This is the boy that we met in the church. Preparations are currently underway for the connection experiment. Permission from... Hmm, okay, I guess I can't go in there. Before we do, however, I wonder what's... Ooh, a treasure chest! Hmm, I can't open this door. Keep that in mind for later, though. Hmm. Proto Merkab... Uh... Preparations are currently underway for the connection experiment. Where is the door? <laughs> he, said it, he said he was like next... Oh, right, it's to the left. Okay, well, damn, sorry. What is going on? This is the first I've ever heard of Kevin being here. Wow. So, Shion, your boyfriend was working with Joaquin Mizrahi, the guy that summoned the Gnosis. Hmm... I wonder if it's just someone with the same name. 
Who else has this has the name Kevin Winnicott in this game? This is the first I've heard of it too. Kevin didn't tell me what he did before he joined Vector. But you knew him in the past. Or did you just not get his name? But his Hilbert effect theory and his knowledge of Realian architecture makes sense if he was Professor Mizrahi's assistant. Wow, man. I cannot believe this shit. Yep, there he is. How dare you barge in here without knocking? The door is open automatically. What the fuck do you expect me to do? You. You're... Hmm. Have we met before? Uh... No. Um, are you Mr. Winnicott? What? Is my name that unusual? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Um, Professor Mizrahi is calling you. He wants you to report on Fibronia's condition. Oh, it's already that time? Understood. I'll get things ready. Tell him I'll be right up. Hmm. That door was locked before. That boy is Kevin? Yeah, your boyfriend was a prick as a kid, too. And viewers, can you believe this? Kevin in this era is 14 years old, and he's already working with someone high up like Miss Rahi. That's kind of sus. His face looks similar, but he doesn't have the same temperament. Oh, uh, I can assure you the Kevin from the present, well, before he died, was kind of a prick, too. Yes, but I'm pretty sure it's him. That's Kevin. So he was involved with you, Tick. Wow. And isn't it ironic, viewers? In the first game, when um Cherenkov was a part of Utic and he invaded he and Utic invaded Vector and stuff. It was at that point when Kevin got killed by the original Cosmos, the first version of her. Did Kevin know that Utic was gonna attack the place? There's just so much going on here that we don't know. Uh Chief, Chief! What? What? Look at this. Is that Cosmos? Outline of the managing OS for a weapon system to combat the Gnosis phenomenon. He was working on Cosmos 15 years. Wow, even back then. The effectiveness of a human modeled weapon for Gnosis combat? Basic theory of a strategically multiple operation system that obeys the rules of order? So much theory shit that I don't understand. Hey, this is Cosmos's basic theory. Wow. It sure is. He must have already been working on the basic design back then. That was 15 years ago. He was already working on her. It really is, Kevin. Yeah, that's for sure. Chief! Chief, what are you doing? Yeah, I was just about to ask that. What else? Taking a backup. Are you stealing more data? Shia, what the fuck is wrong with you? If we get caught, we, we're in trouble. What? Here? That's crazy. I know it's risky. But with this, we may be able to reboot Cosmos. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. If we can give her the basic theory, we might be able to revive her. All right. Sorry, could you distract him until I'm done? Please. Why? <laughs> distract him? Yeah. You're still here? Yeah, distract him. I'm, I mean, he is 14, so distract him with tales of Fortnite or some shit. That'll distract them enough. Oh, um, actually, there's something I'd like to ask you. If someone like him even plays Fortnite. What? The connection experiment is about to begin. Can't you wait until later? It won't take long. It's about the effectiveness of mental stabilization in regards to realians. Chief, please make it quick. I can't keep him much longer. Yeah, make it quick. Hurry up with your stealing top secret information. 
you stop bothering me? I'm in a hurry. Please leave my room at once. Huh? Oh, um, we're sorry for disturbing you. We were just leaving. Come on, Alan. Let's go. What? Oh, right. That was close. That was so fucking close. Well, it seems like we fooled them. I don't think Dad's on the floor. Let's return to Professor Mizrahi for now. Right. Unfucking believe. I cannot believe we got away with that shit. Man. Looks like everything is in order. I hope today's experiment goes well. Oh, it's you. Where's Winnicott? He said he'll be here soon. I see. Thanks. If you would please deliver that data to the test subject management wing on the fifth floor. Alright, in any case, we gotta go to the fifth floor now. Whoo, god damn. In any case. Uh, let's see. Alright, we gotta go to the fifth floor now. I think there should be an item on the next floor, if memory serves. Fifth floor, here we go! I'm telling you, viewers, you do this shit in real life, your ass is going to spin it. Acute neurosis special treatment area. Yeah, it's going to be spending an eternity in jail. With a roommate named Chuck. <laughs> oh, boy. But, yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Sealed! 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 Hey, dude. You need special permission to open that door. Huh? Maybe I'll get that later. In any case. Crap. What is it? Um, the door won't open. Th that rugged voice, though. What is it? Of course not. The area past here is restricted. You can't enter without permission. We were told to deliver this data to the test subject management wing. Shion, just flash your tits to the dude. He should open the door for, for us for that. ID, please. Oh. Or, or we can just show him our ID. Here. Will this suffice? Confirmed. I'll release the lock. Hurry through. What? Are you expecting someone to rush in after us? Look! Huh? <gasps> what is it? What is it now? What's that image? Hmm? Hey, what's that display showing? That's the surveillance camera for the isolated underground research wing. What about it? Oh, nothing. It just caught my eye, that's all. Are you spies? That place isn't something you need to worry about. Just get back to your posts. I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, Sheila, you're making us sound very sus. Chief, that was a vessel of anima. Yes, there's no mistaking it. They're conducting experiments here to connect vessels of anima and the Zohar. Wow, man. Look at <laughs> Area 13. I wonder if there's an Area 51 in this in this game on um, this place. Wait a minute, what was his name? Oh, I was about to say. I thought his name was Simeon. It, it reminded me of um Albedo's ES in the first game. It was called um Simeon and stuff like that. I could have sworn his name was Simeon. Woo, boy. In any case, that would have been a pretty interesting reference. All right, uh, what's this? Hmm. How do I get to that thing? Is there, is there no way to get it? Hmm. I guess not. Why? Because I'm the, I'm this room's guardian spirit. Hmm. Maybe you might be a spirit later. I mean, no, 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 no. Forget what I said. Let's just keep moving on, shall we? In case. So where, where is this research wing? Before we do that, however, update file number nine. Noise. You can also examine the um information here. Let's check this out. Tesla Megas. Oh, right. That's Isaac Megas' grandson. Oh. Oh, 
shit. I can't believe this. What should I tell mine? We tell her the truth. His, or uh, her brother was used for experimentation for realians and um, they, he had to take drugs and he got killed. So, yeah. Rip. In any case, I'm surprised they just let me waltz into this. Of course, there's nothing in here right now. So, let's just forget it. Let's see. Is there anyone here? Okay, okay, this is not the room. My B, carry on. Definitely has to be this one. Excuse us, we brought the data. Uh, set it down there. Xion's father. D dad We're pressed for time. What's the status of the link with Fibronia? Values on the test subject side aren't stable. Fibronia probably hasn't fully recovered yet. Damn. Some amount of stress is acceptable. We'll continue the experiment. What is he working on? <gasps> Mom! That's your mom? You there. Forward the analysis data log. I want to confirm the error in sequence 306. What is this? Mom is being used in an experiment? Shion! She chill! What's wrong? Hurry up and confirm the data. Isn't she a member of your family? Hmm? What kind of experiment is this? How can you use a member of your family as a test subject? Xion, you're going to get us caught! She's chief! I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about the atrocity of using a member of your own family as a test subject. And not just her. How many others have you people done this to? They're here because it's necessary. That's all there is to it. Is that so? How is it necessary? Have you even studied this personal data? It's clear that they're suffering subconsciously. How can you use the sick and injured like this? Nonsense. That's just an issue with the numbers. You merely see what you want to see. She doesn't feel anything. She doesn't say anything. This is nothing more than peripheral nerve reflexes. Dude, this is your wife! This is your wife! You're talking to her as if she's some, some random chick that just has mental illness or some shit. This is your wife! Viewers, he's talking about his wife as if she's just a slab of meat on the table. What the fuck is this dude? You're just distorting the truth to rationalize what you're doing. What? You're the one who's distorting things. To begin with, since when does a mere staff member like you have the right to criticize this project? Know your place. Know your place, bitch! Oof. Wow. That was some deep shit right there. Uh. <gasps> Daddy? Huh? Shion. Little Shion. Shion, how many times do I have to tell you you need permission to come here? Oh. Wow. And you're even taking out your frustration on your daughter? Man. Why were you allowed to have kids? But I'm worried about mom's sickness. Today isn't a visitation day. You know that. Now hurry home. Leave mom to us. But... Xion. I'll escort her out. You? Yes. I'm sorry for how I acted. I'm fatigued and a little emotional right now. Yeah, because you're using my mother, I mean, uh, this lady as a test subject for experiments, and you're treating her as if she's a slab of meat, but, um, <clears throat> no. Hmm, I see. Yes, please take care of her. Come on, Xion, let's go home. I'm sure your mom will get better soon. See all these doctors with her? Yeah. Wow, and young Xion doesn't even know that her that her mom is being used for experiments and shit. That is awful. Shh. I wonder if this is gonna really fuck up the timeline though. Um, 
Your house is in block B32, right? What's wrong? I don't want to go home yet. But your dad's going to be busy with work until late. The soldier. Huh? Soldier? I want to visit the hurt soldier. Oh, Virgil. Oh, you want to go to the church? Yeah, I'm going to bring him flowers. Oh, Xion knew Virgil back then too. But in the first game, it felt like Xion didn't even know him at all. Hmm. I wonder if Xion's memory got fucked or something back um, during this era. Because she didn't recognize Virgil at all in the first game. Especially since they did know each other in this era. I see. Okay, let's go. Follow me. There's flowers in the garden outside. Alright. I can't believe we're getting flower get getting or getting flowers for our enemy. <laughs> in any case, I'll meet you guys outside. We gotta go back outside. See you there. Alright, viewers of Mac. Back outside. Here. Hmm. They're pretty. Did you grow these yourself? Yeah, Feb gave me seeds. You know what? I'm gonna grow tons and tons more flowers and make Mom happy. Wow. Viewers, this is the personality that Xion had in the first game. I mean, Xion was, you know, depressed in some ways a lot in the first game, but her personality was a lot more sunny and upbeat in the first game. And did you notice the slow decline in the second game? Her personality became all moody and she started acting really bitchy. And then we have a culmination of it here in the third game. Mm. Wow, man. It's amazing what 15 years does to a girl. Yes, I'm sure she'll like that. But then again, she's been through a lot of shit in her life. So I can understand that she has been traumatized immensely with the shit. So. Now, shall we bring some flowers to the soldier? Yeah! Seeing her happy makes me happy in a way. It makes, it, I don't know, it just puts a smile on my face. Are you slacking off at your job and playing babysitter now? Oh, is this prick again? Mr. Winnicott, this is part of my job. Oh, excuse me. Still, I'm surprised to see people leisurely planting gardens in the middle of a war. It's at times like this when we need them the most. Is there something wrong with engaging in productive activity to counter the unnatural destruction of war? Placing one against another and fighting is a defining aspect of human beings. Resisting it is unnatural. Wow. It makes sense because he's thinking about all this now and it reminds me of the cutscene we had at the beginning of chapter 4. When he said, oh, maybe we're the ones that are fight fighting the laws of nature and, and maybe we should have the Gnosis just kill us off or some shit. Yeah, man. No, ma Whether he's 14 or whether he's 28, 29 or some shit, he's still a prick. Your name is Kevin Winnicott, correct? You're a strange woman. Is my name that unusual? Are you really Kevin? Who else would it be? Come on, let's go! Oh, right. Let's go to the church. Excuse us. Wow, man. Heh, <laughs> do you understand what's going on? We're in the state of war right now. And yet, here you are, leisurely tending flowers. You should get back to your post. And you should eat, and you should eat a dick. <laughs> but then again, you never know. He probably, he probably did. I don't know. Or maybe he, you know, shh, never mind. But instead of eating one, maybe you should, shh. Xion, wait, where are you going? I don't know. Kevin is just such an asshole, man. This is a shortcut. Hmm. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's right. Come on! Yeah, Xion, you would know this is a shortcut. You were you were literally doing this before. Notice the ice cream truck is in here right now. Right. You, because the ice cream truck was blocking the way here. All right, let's head on back to the church then. Hmm. 
you're recovering smoothly. But you should stay in bed for a while longer. Yeah, stay in bed. Forever. And please don't turn evil. Otherwise, we may have to kill you. Like I needed your help. Who the hell are you people? You aren't you, Tick, and you aren't Federation. But you act damn suspicious for mere civilians. What? So knowing how to tend to people's injuries is sus now? Huh, wow. I told you, you need to get some rest. <laughs> Jen is all calm about it. We can't reveal who we are for various reasons. But we aren't your enemy. There's no need for you to cause yourself unnecessary stress. Hmm? Hey! Xion? What? Y yeah I brought Xion. Oh, right. Uh, what brings you here? Um, here. Wh what? Nani? Flowers? For me? Yeah, aren't they pretty? Yeah, they bloomed real pretty. It's so you'll get well. What? You've got to be kidding. I don't need them. I think you do need them. You won't take them? See? You're making- you're about to make this girl cry! Take the fucking flowers! Uh... Uh... Thanks. She's a little girl, man! Take the flowers! She's being nice! Damn! You're welcome. I hope you get better soon. Oh, she's so adorable. Damn it. This isn't me. I think it is you. I really do think it is you. In fact, I believe this is what Virgil actually is. He may look like he's an asshole and causing the destruction and shit and trolling Xion and shit in the present with him as a testament. But, but, in the first game, he did try and protect her. He did try and protect her, even though he kind of went through a little convoluted means, almost got her killed and shit. But he did protect Xion in the first game. When the Gnosis attacked the Glende, that is. So, Virg, I, I, maybe Virgil might have known Shion back in the first game. But Shion definitely didn't remember him. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? I'm sorry. It's just you look so different from when we first met. Well, excuse me for looking silly holding some flowers. Not at all. You look good with them. Yeah, you should hang on to them. Damn it. Sounds like you're having fun. <laughs> Deb! Are you sure you should be up yet? Fibronia, I'm glad you recovered. Don't come any closer to me, Realian. Uh oh. Virgil? That's a Utic Realian. Do you know how many of my comrades have died because of them? Hmm. Virgil, stop it. She saved your life. Yeah, and she gave you her organs. I didn't ask for that. Well, if not, then you would have died. It makes me sick, thinking I've got a part of you in me. <laughs> if I could move right now, I'd kill myself. Virgil, you're acting a little racist, okay? Just chillax. Virgil, that's enough. This is none of your business. Please don't say such sad things. Everyone worked so hard to save your life. Please don't speak so lightly about throwing it away. What would a Realian know about the value of human life? It's true that I'm a Realian. We were created to serve human beings. My sisters are going through painful experiments for that purpose. But I feel no hatred for human beings because it is the proof that we exist. Give me a break. A proof you exist? That's just how you've been programmed. Mm. It's fine if you feel that way, but my feelings right now are more than just a program. Huh? Your feelings? I want you to live. I'm starting to feel sick. I'm gonna sleep. Yeah, maybe you should sleep on it and stop being so racist. Feb! We would never want people to suffer. I know. We'll come to understand each other someday. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll be like this in real life. We'll come to understand each other someday. Ho hopefully someday there won't be discrimination, you know, on race and 
gender, sexuality, and everything like that, you know, maybe we'll actually, you know, everything will just feel better, normal, you know? Instead of all this hate and shit. Life is way too short to be hating. Stop it. Get help. Chill ass. Any case. Let's pray now, Xion. What are you gonna pray for, Feb? For my dear sisters. Please grant them a wonderful future. I see. Will I get to play with Cecily and Kath again? Yes. They're both looking forward to seeing you again. Mm. What are you going to pray for? For Mom to get better soon. And for the soldier to get better too. Little Xion really cared about Virgil. She did. She doesn't even know Virgil, and she really cared about him. May, maybe, you know what? This was going. This go back to what I was saying earlier and stuff. Maybe because of the kindness, kindness that Shion showed Virgil when she was a little girl. Maybe that was replicated in Virgil when he did what he did to try and protect Shion in the first game from the Gnosis attack. Even though he, you know, kind of died tragically and shit, but. Mm. That's a good idea. Let's pray together. Oh. Xion, let's go. Yeah, it, it feels weird kind of seeing your younger self. I, I don't know. It, timeline shit. Jim. Yeah. Come on, don't be sad. Be glad. Oh, I guess it's not time. Mm. <gasps> Is that Omega? It existed even here. Losing control of Realians is an ingenious plan. Morgulus. So he was involved in this too. Wow. A Trojan horse planted by their leader. And notice that guy, Sellers. Remember when we saw him earlier in the game? He was, you know, he was in a wheelchair. Yeah, he's not in a wheelchair. Well, this was 15 years in the past, so I wonder if something happened to him that made him lose his ability to walk. It's an amusing scenario, though not a particularly flashy one. It was Winnicott's idea to make Mizrahi into a scapegoat. He's quite the tactician for his age. Hmm. Did you hear that the transport carrying calibrated realians was attacked by the Federation? Seeing Cecily and Calf like this again, it just, it makes me sick. I remember when we saw them in the second game, when we raided Labyrinthos in the second game. When Cosmos had no choice but to kill Cecily and Calf because Fabronius' spirit wanted it to happen so that way they wouldn't suffer anymore. Remember that? That was awful. But look at them suffering like that, it's, it, it makes me cringe. No, oh, I just lost a few Realian units won't affect the project. Mm. Although I am concerned about the Federation's next move. We know all the details of their descent operation. We'll be able to buy time until our VIPs are able to retreat. Good. So have you deciphered the Y data? No. I've found some file fragments. But he won't tell us a thing about it. I've got Winnicott trying to get some information from him, but who knows how it'll go. Wait a minute, so Kevin is a spy? Wait, what? Okay, so Kevin was working as some kind of double agent at 14? Shit, he's even more of a prick than I had, even, than I had anticipated. As long as the Zohar activation succeeds, we can deal with the rest later. What's the plan? We'll pick you and the others up along with the Zohar. I won't hold my breath. If it comes down to it, I can lift the whole song of Nephilim into space. Mm. Yeah, we saw how well that worked out, didn't we? Save the game? Yes, ma'am. Well, viewers, we have reached the end of Chapter 5. Holy shit, we learned some big plot. This was a big plot dump episode. A big ass plot dump episode. Whoo! And now we begin chapter six. And by far a very emotional one. 
we got a lot of shit coming, so I hope you have brought some tissues, because these next couple chapters might be rocking your emotional state. Next time, if you guys enjoy, you know what to do, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more gaming vids from me, and of course, when you subscribe, be sure to hit the bell to notify my newest uploads. Got something to say? Of course you do, leave a comment, duh. Till next time, dudes and dudettes, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, my bitches and bros. Smile later.